I'm Christian on Philly Hotspot with Lucas and Gian, and we're conversation right now is can the Phillies realistically make a postseason run? What do you think, Lucas? I just I don't think they're con- I don't think they're consistent enough. They're a young team. They're prone to breaking down at the end of the game. And the teams that you see making a late playoff run are teams who can finish games. And the Phillies, I. I haven't seen them do uh, do that uh, so far this season, and I don't see any reason to believe that they're going to start doing that. Interesting point. Now let's see what Gian has to say. I think they can because they have the young talent that a postseason team needs, and they have good power hitters. They have Reese Hoskins in the outfield. He's uh, after his jaw injury. He's been. Uh, heating up a little bit, so and Michael Franco playing third base made an amazing play last night against the Cardinals, one of the plays of the year. So I think if they keep this up, this pace, I think if they stay over 500, I think they can be a wild card team. But the problem is, like, uh, the problem is that, um, like, so yes, they're young, but I think that's the problem. Hoskins, although he's been heating up, is still not hitting well. I think uh, Kingery's hitting in like the 220s. Franco's been riding the bench the year in favor of J.P. Crawford. So I just, and then their their bullpen, Hector Neris has just been really inconsistent. He's been really good one game and then giving up four, five, six runs the next game. So I, I just don't see it happening. Those very interesting points. Now we're going to open up the phone line to 1-800-PHILLY-HOTSPOT for callers to answer, to give us questions. Uh, so what do you guys think about Gabe Kapler? Do you guys think he's doing a good job, especially with managing the, out, the outfield and the bullpen? Personally, I think he's a rookie. Growing pains come with that. They're a young team. They have time to grow, but I don't think they need distractions like that right now. I think after this season, the whole organization needs to have a have needs to have a conversation about what they need to do moving forward, and if Gabe Kapler is part of the Phillies' future or if he's the past at this point. I would completely agree with that. He just doesn't he doesn't manage his pitchers well. He's he, he's bringing pitchers out of the bullpen without having them warmed up, which is which never happens. You can't do that. He just he just has like brain lapses while coaching and that's something you can't do. Um I think I agree with Christian because he it's a rookie coach obviously and he doesn't have really any experience with coaching a major league team. So but since I think he's doing a good job to turn the organization around because they have an over 500 record. So I think all they need to work on is just maybe during the trade deadline or before the trade deadline get like a closer to trade or to get it for a trade. So. Also, another bad part about that is they've had, I think, what, three managers in the last four or five seasons. Yeah. They need to keep. They need to stick with one guy, and they need to keep a core to build around these young players. Because bringing in new coaching and new managing every other year with these kind of young players, it'll never get them anywhere. So I think, I think moving forward, Gabe Kapler he had a first rough season. He's a first year coach, first year manager. I think they need to keep him a part of the future and tell him what he can do better. And if he can't deliver, then obviously. He's not a good part of the organization. They need to move forward, but I mean, I don't think you can just get rid of the guy after his first season. I mean, everyone makes mistakes, so I think they need to give him another shot. And that's it for today. Thank you for all the callers. This is Christian, Lucas, and Gian on Philly Hotspot. We'll see you next time.